pit hole is on the top. He was unlike almost anybody else I've ever worked with. He came without boundaries. He came with his own sense of timing. The stroking of the beard was very, very, very um, recognisable in him. He looked for the music in Shakespeare, and he, you know, he looked for textual truth in Mozart. I went to Kleinborn as a member of the audience, and uh, I don't know, it seems to have been part of my life since, since then, since the 50s. The first impression was of a big man. He was huge. He was tall, he was imposing, he was a presence. When the stage show started, then you know, now the king is there. First time I did an opera was in the 50s at Sadler's Wells. And uh, the thought that you had to act as well hadn't occurred to most people because they hadn't been asked to. I was absolutely horrified. <laughs> He wanted to trigger your imagination somehow. This is what I felt. And he, he, I think he said once to me, you like to live dangerously, don't you? And I hadn't realized that, but I don't think I'd ever worked with that kind of boundary before. I felt, you know, this, this is an open world. <laughs> It was always risky, always. Risky in terms of the truth of the performance, risky in terms of technical requirements. Oh yes, risk was life's blood to everybody, yes. Realism was his, you know, was his, his sort of modus operandi. He always tried to have extras in his production, so animals, children. Very often in his productions we had chickens and horses and Fidelio. If you have stuff to do on stage, do it. Don't pretend, do it. He wasn't going to have prop chickens on that stage, he wanted real chickens and he got them. artist wonders what the hell they're doing and what contribution and they're making and if it has any kind of validity in the world and I think it has and that's partly due to him. One word to describe Peter. Inventive. Inspirational. Highly intelligent. Uh, larger than life. I just think a true man of the theatre, how about that? What a difficult thing to put into one word what one felt about him. Love. <laughs>